Greetings from Grand Avenue. It's Wednesday and the new Upper Room Devotional Guides have arrived, so I'm spending time getting ready to meet with my small group. If you'd like to have a copy of your own, stop by the church office or we'll be glad to mail one to you. There's also a link to today's devotion in the comments and description below this video. It's entitled, Loving One Another, based on Jesus' teaching, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. In it, a fellow named Gay talks about meeting his childhood friend, Alex. It wasn't a relationship that he was excited about at first, but it grew into a lasting friendship, a lifelong friendship. Reading it, I was reminded of the first time I attended a school that had an open seating plan in the cafeteria at lunch. When I was in kindergarten, we ate snacks at our table. When I went to elementary school, we ate by class. Ms. Bates' class over there, Ms. Bishop's class over there. When I made it to Parkway Junior High School, I was faced with a dilemma. I could go anywhere I wanted to. I could go through the plate lunch line, the sandwich lunch line. I could buy things out of the vending machine. And then there was a the question of where to sit. Looking around, I headed straight for the fun havers table. Imagine my surprise. As soon as I sat down, most of them got up and went to do something else. There I was all alone. It wasn't very long before somebody else came my way. Not somebody that I would have chosen to sit with, but actually as they sat down next to me, they became good friends of mine as well. As a matter of fact, I'm still friends with some of them on Facebook. From that point on, I didn't sit with them every day, but I would go in and sit at a table all by myself and wait to see who would come and sit with me. You see, you get to choose who your friends are, but you don't get to choose whose friend you will be. It's a blessing when we look around and think about the people that God is giving us to connect with in the world around us. So it is that Gabe writes, God calls us to love all people, I believe God sets up situations like this more frequently than we may notice. Now when I find myself not wanting to be around someone who is different from me, I think back to when I met Alex, and I reflect on the blessing that our friendship has been. I remember that God loves me unconditionally. So what excuse do I have not to love those who are different from me? As you read the devotion, you might ponder these questions. We're in my small group, we're going to be addressing these together. Is there anyone in your life whom you've been avoiding? How might you reach out to them in the coming week? When have you felt God encouraging you to do something that you didn't really want to do? And how did you respond? And this one, what scripture passages remind you of the importance of remaining open to new people and showing God's love to others? How do you apply what you read in those passages to your life? I hope that maybe you will find the grace of loving others in the name of God, and that as we journey together through the pages of this devotion, that you will be praying for me even as I am praying for you. In fact, I'll offer the prayer today that is printed here. Dear God, help us to be open to new friendships and to love others as you love us. Amen. May God be with you until we meet again.